Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting. Today I'm coming to share with you uh, a little surprise project, which I hope I made easy to follow and easy to create. If you are watching my channel often, you know I love to create uh, some surprises in my journals. And uh, because uh, Christmas time is coming, uh, I was thinking what I can create for you, what will be hopefully easy to follow, hopefully easy to create, but what will have amazingly surprise uh, in the end of that creation and what you can give to your loved ones. So I did make these movable uh, Christmas wishes. They also have uh, back belly bands where will be envelope. I just, ah, yeah. There you can slide the envelope with maybe money or something, you know, and give it as a gift. I made three designs. They will be on my Etsy for sale. And I'm also offering uh, personalized cards. If you would like to create something like this with photo, just contact me through the uh, Etsy and we can sort it out. It will cost the same like its uh, price for each of these cards. Uh, it took me quite longer time than I thought, but I hope it will be very understandable to follow and uh, that you will have a fun to create these cards. Each of these cards has a three sheets of the designs. This is base frame, which is holding the card and the belly band, which goes on the side of that, of that frame. And there it's the envelope, which you will put to that belly band. Then is this piece, which is moving tuck or moving tap, which is helping you to move actual picture. And then is a sheet, which is holding those pictures and these small taps. So I'm going to cut out everything uh, on these designs. These are my final kind of like after <laughs> many tries. <laughs> so these are my final. I will also put small numbers uh, on each of these uh, next to each of these pictures. So you will have a little bit easy way to follow uh, how you can put it together. But in this tutorial, I will explain everything, how to count, uh, well, not count, how to manage to put those pictures the right way. And I hope it's really easy to follow. So I'm going to cut out all these pieces. Here, I just want to show you. It is hopefully nicely visible. Here, this is all together with this small white piece. So cut it all together with this one that frame. So I'm going to cut out all these pieces and I will come back. So I do have fussy cut out all these pieces. I'm going to start with the simplest one and that's the envelope. So here uh, I'm going to fold first this one. The envelope put together, it's really easy. It's nothing complicated. So I just fold the pocket of the envelope, then I'm going to fold these sides over the edge of that pocket. Open it, put the glue on these sides. Fold it down and glue it. And fold the flap. And that way you do have done the envelope and you can continue. So very next easy part is this one. This is the holder for that moving picture. That will hold the picture which is moving down and up. This you just need to fold it half and glue it together. This needs to be quite strong 
and also I forgot to say I have used 160 GSM paper it's good it's what I used here as well it's good but uh, if I will have to choose again I will probably choose 200 GSM slightly thicker paper <clears throat> but the 160 it's good as well so I folded it half oops empty okay Here up the new one. I'm gonna put the glue on one half and just glue the other half on it. And make sure you do have glue everywhere. Uh, it will be moving part, so you wanna have glued everything really nicely. And I'm gonna fold it half and burnish with my bone folder. So that's movable tag that can be moved over there. This belly band will be fixed on the frame. So I'm gonna prepare the frame straight away. Uh, one side of that frame uh, of that frame I need to cut off the inside that inside. So I'm gonna take a ruler and knife and uh, first before I will cut anything I'm gonna take a ruler and this scoring tool and I'm gonna pre-score my envelope to make sure I can or that uh, frame so I'm gonna pre-score here and here where is that small flap to make sure I can put it together once I do have cut uh, the window so to make sure I can put it together easily I'm gonna kind of pre-fold this it will make the work with that frame much more easy if I will fold it right now like this now I can open it and I'm gonna cut this brown paper which is inside of that frame I'm gonna cut it off so I just have a ruler and knife and I'm gonna cut off that brown paper from the inside of my frame but just on one side and I'm choosing that side which is uh, far from this white top doesn't matter which side you will use you will choose but only one side the other one keep with that uh, brown paper inside I'm gonna take it off this one uh, place on the side we will use a bit from that piece lately you can put on the side that frame for now as well and here we have the base and all these cards so separate these cards there are rectangles three of them two of them are with side tabs one is with the bottom tab that one with the bottom tab belongs together with these kind of like triangle ish <laughs> <laughs> kind of like triangle shaped uh, tabs so this with the bottom tab belongs to that composition this belongs here to make sure we can put them together you have to cut this white uh, white shape off and here it's good if you will cut around that black line here you can see both of these pieces have black lines so cut not inside but cut outside 
right next to that black line and cut those shapes off. Then you will be fussy cutting these small pieces. They do have black line all around as well. Here you can see there was black line all around of these pieces. To make sure your picture here and picture underneath this one will be smooth. Here you can see here I cut the black line. I left that black, black line on my paper. I didn't cut here under that black line. I cut it over that black line. I cut it in that white sp space. I left that, that, that black line and here it's kind of like separating that picture. To make sure you will have nice and smooth picture without those separation and it will looks like it's all together. Cut these small pieces sides and top kind of like next to that black line inside of that picture. The bottom can stay framed. The bottom it's invisible so on the bottom here you can see I do have that line here I do have that line here so the bottom can stay as it is but sides and top try to cut next to that frame kind of like inside in that picture. Same with these sides these sides and top of that picture it's good if you will try to uh, cut kind of like inside of the picture like under under that line to make it then invisible so I'm gonna take my ruler and knife and I'm gonna use that to cut exactly under that frame and take your time, do not rush this process, the better you will do this process, the more smooth moving you will have and you will be successful. So do not rush, take your time and enjoy this creation. So I'm gonna cut my both pieces off. I do have cut it both my pieces as you can see both of them are with that frame around so this I can put to the bin now first what I'm gonna glue will be do those two uh, rectangles with the tabs on the side this is bottom one it will the picture will navigate you this will belongs here so I'm gonna take that rectangle and from inside kind of like from the bottom I'm gonna slide that picture here <clears throat> and here I'm gonna follow the picture here so I'm gonna kind of overlap that picture and try to put it kind of close to that to make this picture kind of like oh uh, yeah kind of like complete <laughs> complete here and complete on the bottom kind of follow that image when I am happy with the position and do not rush this one really pick your time it doesn't have to be fast process I think here I'm okay here I'm okay I'm gonna hold my picture down I'm gonna lift up this side take my glue and on this tab only this side tab only I'm gonna put the glue and put this down and with my hand here I'm holding that picture make sure it will don't move I'm gonna glue this side I'm gonna hold here lift this one and same like before just on that 
top here I'm gonna put a glue and put this down and glue same will be with this second picture again from the bottom slide it in and here I'm gonna follow this and that writing write it down I think there you go yes I'm gonna lift up this one take a glue on that tap put it down check again if I'm on the right spot lift up this one take a glue and place it on this tap and glue it So I do have my base and as you can see because I cut that uh, black framing off the image is kind of like continuing nicely without this silly line here <laughs> here I made mistake so I do have prepared this I'm gonna take back <clears throat> this tab and on this tab I'm gonna start to glue uh, my four images this image here it's the bottom or uh, you can have a look on these lines the top is where the space here is the bigger here it's smaller space here is bigger space between the edge of this uh, piece and between the first line here is bigger space that is the top where there is smaller space that is the bottom <clears throat> from the pictures the smallest is the starter it's the top of the image and then you have to continue kind of like logically that the belly will be first like next I mean not first <laughs> I mean next after that top then will be the legs and there will be the shoes so I'm gonna take first picture here I'm gonna put the glue just on this small tap and not even on all of them that tap you don't have to put glue on all of it just on the bottom and I'm gonna place my picture here this way that I am with the tap I am on the line here like this and kind of like in the middle I may well add here also side uh, side lines to make sure you will have a kind of easy way I will try I will have a look if I'm able to add it there then I'm gonna take next picture and again then is that you know that belly and again I'm gonna put there a glue on the bottom and I'm gonna put this on that line and here you can already navigate yourself with the sides and you will see if you didn't let that that black line you will see like your picture is continuing nicely so it start to look like it's just one it's just one paper then I'm gonna take a legs put the glue again on the bottom of that top and place it on next line again try to be in the middle but right now you can also navigate yourself with those sides and if the picture is continuing nicely and as last part are shoes and again I'm gonna put the glue here and place the picture here on that line and here is quite complicated to see if you are on the right spot but you will be on the right spot if you will put the tap on that line and you will kind of 
watch these sides to make sure it's all together. Let this dry. Give it the time before you will do anything else. Give the time to glue, to work and actually glued those pieces nicely and make them stable because if you will start to work with this sooner than it's dry uh, you are in huge risk that one of these images will be will get moved like my moved here oh come on what do you do ah good like my moved <laughs> the top one and then you can have harder time to move it up and down you know because it kind of got stuck on the side so take your time do not rush i know christmas it's quite chaotic time but when you create something for your loved ones you should be relaxing so hopefully you've got all to glued together this one and hit those pieces you need one more uh, one more thing and that we will create from this uh, i'm gonna take i'm gonna have a look if is it big enough yeah it will be big enough i'm gonna cut uh, one inch from this uh, piece of paper which i cut just uh, from here so i'm gonna take my guillotine and cut one yeah one inch strip it doesn't have to be one inch I think it, it can be slightly bigger. You will glue it here, where you do have top of your picture. So on this kind of like last part, you will glue this one. It will be holder for this part. So take your paper, place your paper around this tab, which is holding all four cards and fold it do not make it too tight make it more like slightly loose because that tab have to be uh, have to move in there it have to slide nicely so do not make this one too tight around this middle strip i'm gonna place it here and easily fold this opposite side and try if I'm not too tight with that paper it's moving nicely so I'm gonna take my glue and put the glue just on the edge glue this down place it here now I'm gonna take my four pictures I'm gonna take my framing and I'm gonna slide these four pictures and we need to go um, kind of like one behind the first here will go the first picture from the top this is the top and this is the top so first will go here second will go there and it's a little bit tricky but it is paper so you can fold it and you can open the space here and slide that that next card you know can play with this one do not be stressed you can fold this up and slide it behind so every single of these four uh, four pieces which are on that top have to do have to go to those uh, openings and there is exactly four openings so just give it the time it can, it can be stressful at the first time, but as I said, do not be afraid to fold it and go one by one by next one. Help yourself. It's paper and it can be folded. So help yourself. This should be happy creation. Once you are inside, with your picture flip it over 
<clears throat> now get up your belly band put a glue on your belly band and here I do have uh, glued that belly band together so on this side I'm gonna put the glue to make sure it will hold nicely and with that glue I'm gonna go kind of inside I'm gonna slide it around my top here and I'm gonna slide it close to this first kind of like edge and glue it down like this yeah as you can see the top here it's very short uh, you will need to put their eyelet and put their through something it's just because <clears throat> The size of the paper, which is uh, where I, uh, on which I print it out, it does have <laughs> actual measurement, so that's why it's quite short. But once it slides in, it's invisible, and I do have there this lace, and it looks really beautiful. So it actually works really well to make it invisible that I can do this one with that. So right now. You don't have to ha uh, put their eyelets, you can just take maybe some string and maybe you can, what I'm gonna do with this, oh it's two strings, okay. You can punch the hole or poke the hole if you don't have a crocodile. like this you can poke the hole through to this small tab somewhere here on the bottom you can use needle or poking tool like this poke the hole and take some thread well, this is too small, so I'm gonna use my crocodile. But you can just poke the hole and uh, maybe take some thread. I can do it this way, actually. I do have thread on my needle, so I'm gonna go this way. Make a knot. And make another one. And because it's Christmas. Maybe you do have small jingle bell. So you can actually create some nice decoration here. And make a knot and I'm gonna keep it this way for now I'm gonna slide it back so I do have my picture here I do have my top I'm gonna grab my frame so I do have here my frame I do have top here window here I'm gonna grab my uh, moving part flip it this way I'm gonna take a glue and I'm gonna make sure this is in the middle it's the straight way that you will see that you don't have it kind of like this way or that way that you have it straight way like this get up your glue and put the glue here on this side do not go too close to that middle tab but go about i will say one quarter of inch from the tab not exactly next to it to make sure you will don't glue it together then you can go on all this side here with the glue all this side here with the glue 
and here on the top and again be careful do not put glue on your movable movable tab that can be glued so be careful here on the top and here on the bottom with your glue but on those sides you can go crazy not too much <laughs> but a little bit better now flip it over i'm holding the movable part and this one together and you can place it to the frame there is nice space on that frame all around and glue it down the frame is slightly bigger so you will have a space to fit it inside the glue here press to the sides that way and that way to make sure you will don't move it to your movable part and here also kind of press the glue outside of that picture <coughs> now fold this put the glue on that small fold And fold it over do not go to the glue sheet now put the glue on the frame all around of the frame every single spot and fold the frame over like this here and here and here and glue it nicely down and like before do not do not rush take your time try it now you have it you have your movable part flip it over and you can take that belly band that belly band is slightly bigger just a just a really slightly bigger <laughs> so you can put the glue on one side glue it here on that frame make sure it's straight you can cut this cut this off or you can kind of slide it down and glue it with the space here so you can put there even more but i think for that envelope i'm gonna cut this off because that will be big enough I'm gonna put the glue here on the edge, glue it down, and I'm gonna take my envelope, I'm gonna slide this one in, and place my envelope to my belly band. Ooh too fast I need to let it dry okay and you do have your moving Christmas tag I do have few designs I do have this Santa I do have this Santa and I do have also Bethlehem. So 
so these three designs I do have for Christmas and if you would like to have your own uh, picture in there with some quote you like maybe picture of your family with some quote uh, which your family likes just contact me through the Etsy the price will be exactly same you will get digital design and you will have to build it up yourself but you will get exactly uh, pieces like I just glued and I will also put the, the numbers and navigation which picture is which one so this is my sharing for today thank you so so much for staying with me thank you so much for sharing your time with me I hope you like this idea I hope you will enjoy these these designs and you will create your moving uh, moving cards for your loved ones have a beautiful day take care about yourself and I will see you soon bye